Leonardo Energy, the web community of sustainable energy professionals, presents this documentary about concentration photovoltaics technology. Along with wind power, concentrating photovoltaics (CPV) offers one of the most promising utility-scale sustainable renewable energy technology options. CPV has a current system efficiency higher than 25%, and the potential of reaching and exceeding 50%. In the right locations, it could provide electricity at costs low enough to be competitive with fossil and nuclear power. In just ten days, the Earth receives energy from solar radiation equivalent to the known fossil reserves. In other words, assuming an overall efficiency of ten percent, solar supply is a thousand times higher than global energy demand. We have visited Isfoc in Puerto Llano, southern Spain. Isfoc. Instituto de Sistemas Fotovoltaicos de Concentración is a company dedicated to research and development in the field of concentrating photovoltaics, promoted by the Department of Education and Science of the Regional Government of Castilla-La Mancha, and the Solar Energy Institute from Universidad Politécnica de Madrid. In order to generate key knowledge on this technology, ISFOC is executing a number of power plants, up to three megawatts in total, incorporating different concentrated technologies, which will shortly become available on the market. We are talking to Paki Ruvio, R and D director at ISFOC. What is the difference between photovoltaics and concentrating photovoltaics? In the photovoltaic system, we use very big cells. Photovoltaics are normally in silicon to capture as much solar radiation as possible. But these cells are very expensive. In the concentration photovoltaic, we use very small cells and we use an optical element to concentrate the light into the cell. We can concentrate the light maybe uh, 500 times or 1,000 times, 2,000 times. That is the advantage of the concentration photovoltaics. What are the advantages of concentrating photovoltaics? So the clear advantage is the the size of the cell. Now we can use a very small cell, and now is is not going to be the more expensive part of the module. So we can have cheaper module, and we can provide and we can use very efficient cell. So we can have a, a module with lower price and more efficient. That is the big advantage of the CPV. And additionally, with the high efficiency system, so with the high with high concentration, we can use. <coughs> Uh, elements for the traditional industries like glass, plastic, or, or or metal, and we can use any manufacturing or any industry, and it's going to be very easy the recycling too. This is the first uh, Flatcon power plant, uh, which uh, consists of 18 trackers, of each 5.75 kilowatts nominal power. The whole uh, plant is about 100 kilowatts and is uh, made of uh, these systems which each of one takes uh, 32 square meters of aperture area. The concentrated technology needs a very stiff uh, structure and a very good uh, tracking accuracy to uh, guarantee the output performance we need. Our tracking system consists in a combined tracking system which is uh, once made with a sensor up there and the other part is uh, in this box, which is uh, the inverter and uh, the tracking control, uh, both of them uh, in, in one uh, box. So with this uh, combined system, we guarantee uh, the tracker output we need and we uh, reach an accuracy of less than 0.1 degrees. And what are the disadvantages of concentrating photovoltaics? It's not maybe a disadvantage, but uh, it appears two new problems. The two new problems are the tracking system, because now the tracking system is mandatory, because we can use only the direct solar radiation. But it's very good solved, because we have now very accurate system, very accurate tracking system. And the second problem is the temperature, because we are going to concentrate the sun into the cell, so we, we will need a heatsink. But this also very well solved because we can use copper or aluminium or even metal in the bottom part of the module so we can solve these two problems. Is concentrating photovoltaics always more suitable than flat photovoltaics? 
Not always, because the CPV system should be used in very sunny places with a very high solar radiation. In places with more than 1,500 kilowatts hour per square meter, it's better to use CPV, it's better to use concentration. And that's a typical case in Spain, for example, or the south of Europe. We can use also in California or south of USA, and also north of Africa and Australia. That is the good places to use the CPV. This is the first meteorological station installed in Puerto Llano. There are two pyranometers where broadband solar irradiance on a planar surface is measured. The sensor is designed to measure the solar radiation flux density in watts per meter squared from a field of view of 180 degrees. There are also two pyranometers with black bowls above them to measure diffuse radiation. The equipment has been doubled in order to gain measurements under clean and unclean conditions. The most important piece of equipment is the pyre heliometer, which measures direct radiation. It consists of a long tube oriented towards the sun, where only parallel rays from the sun reach the bottom. This equipment was also doubled in order to measure clean and unclean conditions. Completing the meteorological station, there is also wind measurement, speed and direction. Wind impacts directly on the performance of the CPV as it contributes to natural heat evacuation, which in turn directly influences the efficiency of cells and, consequently, the power of the plant. Rain, humidity and temperature are also measured. End of part one.